Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 26th of April for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be delighted if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. This means every time I launch a video, you will get a notification from YouTube. Also, if you would like to discuss your personal situation in an in-depth way with me, please check out the link beneath this video and you can see my testimonials. Or if you'd like to ascend above uh, zodiac sign horoscopes and embrace more serious astrology, you can do so in an affordable way with my reports. And also please see the link below. You can get a year's forecast and a character an analysis and get 30% off. Hello Scorpio and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 26th of April. This is a very important week for you because not only is the lunar eclipse in your sign, also your ruling planet, your modern ruler of Pluto, goes into a retrograde which will last through to the 5th of October, suggesting your connections with neighbours, siblings, your thoughts, your core beliefs and ideals are going to come under a degree of review. But I do feel because Uranus, the planet of surprises, which is exalted in your sign and conversely in full in the opposite sign to you of Taurus, where it is at the moment and close to the sun, makes this a week all about relationships. Because with Venus, the planet of relating, and Mercury, the planet of talk and thought, together in your sector of relating, but being challenged by Saturn, the planet of restriction, in your sector of emotions. If you're in a relationship where you feel trapped, where there's not a good flow of energy going between you and yours, you don't feel heard, or a partner doesn't feel heard by you, this could be a week where you just have to look at it. You can't escape things. And yet Jupiter, in your sector of home and emotion, is actually in a very positive angle to Pluto in a semi-sextile. So do try to keep the lines of communication open. And Mars, your traditional ruler, is in your sector of freedom. So that's giving you a lot of buoyancy if you do want to break out and be more daring. But I would just suggest to you that any issues of security, emotional or physical, should inform any of your relationship decisions. But if you're able to set those to one side and just live in the moment, there could be a powerful and even dazzling connection to someone new, or if a relationship has really been bumping along the bottom, you may want to free yourself from it, even if it's just on a temporary basis, so you can just move into your own power and your own space, just to give yourself some time to breathe and to regenerate. Always so important for your sign. But over the next couple of weeks, I do think you're going to be thinking very carefully about all sorts of relationships. It could be with your bank, it could be with your employer, your business partner, it could be with a family member. It doesn't just have to be on a romantic basis, but it could show up there too. 